And yesterday, the Clinton campaign joined an effort started by Green Party candidate Jill Stein for an official recount in Wisconsin. Hillary Clinton's gen uh, general counsel said that they were doing this without any actionable evidence of hacking the voting system. Do you support that recount as well? It's taking place. The Green Party has the legal right to do it. We have recounts probably almost every election there's a recount. Uh, no one expects there to be profound change, but there's nothing wrong with going through the process. The issue right now, it seems to me at this particular moment in American history, is whether Donald Trump is going to keep faith with the promises that he made to the American people. As you'll remember during the campaign, Donna, he talked about the fact that he would take on the pharmaceutical industry and lower drug prices in this country. And I'm a little bit nervous, but I haven't heard too much about that since he's been elected. He said that Medicare should be able to negotiate prices with the drug companies, that we should be able to import cheaper medicine uh, from Canada and other countries. I look forward to doing that. He made a very big deal about saying that he was the only Republican candidate in the primary to say that he would not cut Social Senator Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Let's see if he keeps his word, and many of us are going to demand that he does keep the promises that he made. I, I know you will, but just to follow up on the, uh, on the recount, uh, Trump senior advisor Kellyanne Conway tweeted this. She said, look who can't accept the election results. Hillary Clinton's supporters Anna, call for you a You know, vote. this is exactly the issue. Nobody cares. The Green Party has the legal right. Republicans have requested, I think the governor of North Carolina right now mm -hmm. is thinking about doing a recount. That's a legal right. They do it. Uh, I don't think that Hillary Clinton, who got two million more votes than Mr. Trump in the popular election, thinks that it's going to transform the election. But do people have the legal right to do it? Yeah, we do. The real issue now, in my view, is to focus on what we do to rebuild a disappearing middle class, mm -hmm. deal with income and wealth inequality. Let's focus on the issues of importance you, you, to the American people.